Hey everybody, welcome back to the gym. So today I thought I would talk about... Oh, look at the sun's even maybe peeking out a little bit over the edges. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> I thought I'd talk about a little bit of, you know, cold weather playtime with monkeys and what you can do to help get them outside and playing and having a good time because I think that's pretty valuable, right? Um, one thing you can do is you can dress them well. You get them a coat that they like for whatever sensory or texture things that they enjoy. Maybe it's a print they really like. Something that they will enjoy getting out in. And that's really valuable. That's a nice thing. Something fun for them. Another thing you can do when you have, you know, high needs little monkeys or sensory processing disorder little monkeys is you can think about what things they might enjoy outside as a sensory input. So maybe your child really likes water textures or they avoid those. Maybe they really like soft leaves. Um, some children get very scared with the crunching of leaves and some kids love that sensory input, that sound, that texture. They'll really love that. So you know your child best of all and think about what kind of textures and sensations and moisture levels and temperatures they might enjoy. It's just a fun way for them to get outside and, and have a little bit of entertainment even when it's a little cool out. Um, and you know it's fall starting to go into winter. And that can be simple. It can be easy. Um, it doesn't have to be some exotic place that you drive lots of hours to get them to. It's just something that they do, right? Something fun with their mama. And that's such a valuable thing, I think. Because little monkeys, above all, little kids, preschoolers, toddlers, they love having that time with mama outside, getting fresh air, getting, you know, a little bit of light. Even if it's cloudy like it is here a lot of the winter, you're still getting outside and getting a little bit of daylight. And it helps reset high needs children's nap schedules. It helps them sleep better at night. It lets them bond with you because you're doing something fun and adventurous. And, you know, maybe it's something you do every week, but for a kid, a week between things is a long time. So don't be afraid to get outside in this cooler time of year. It's still totally possible. I actually think this is a really lovely time of year to get outside and play and, you know, explore and see what's the world made up of. What's all these wonderful textures? What are all these wonderful sensations? And, you know, what's all this beautiful quiet sometimes, which is often what sensory processing kids, where they're really heightenedly stimulated all the time, need is to get outside in nature, just some bird chirps and some mellowness, sit on a blanket with mama, and play and cuddle, maybe breastfeed, have just a really nice simple time. And it can be that simple with your kids. It doesn't always have to be a complex plan, right? And I know that that's sometimes hard for parents, right? We want to do the, the complex, well put together, perfect playtime. It's completely educational. We've brought all the materials and the snacks. Sometimes just heading on out, you know, maybe right before lunch, grab the kids and go outside and just get a little bit of fun in your day. Um, and that can be really, really wonderful for hyper kids, kids with attention issues, getting them out in nature and letting them play and letting them get out that rambunctious hyperness, letting them get out that curiosity and learning to walk on logs and walk on mud and get through puddles. This is wonderful sensory development and motor skill development for children that is really invaluable. Nothing else quite teaches them that. Uh, so get outside, have fun, send me photos. I love it if you hashtag um, Rose Kelly on Instagram. I love checking out um, all of the photos that anybody posts. That's great. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna work on making my own hashtag that you all can post for your great outdoor photos because I would love to see more of those. Let me work on that. I will post whatever the hashtag is going to be on my Instagram. Um, but let me know or tell me in the comments here, uh, what do you love to do outside with your little monkeys? What do you find really helps them focus and kind of calm down a little bit and have a good time? Until next time, hey, thank you all so much for subscribing and being a part of this channel and hey, giving these videos a thumbs up. As always, check out the links in the description box. Um, I link to my nonfiction breastfeeding book, and I also link to my main work, which is as a romance novelist. <laughs> so feel free to check out some of my romance novels if you'd like to grab some off of Amazon or wherever your easiest ebook is. Until next time, hey, thank you all so much, and I'll see you all around.